Let's install and run Postman for Mac. I'm in a browser at postman.com. Let's download the desktop app. From the downloads page, I can see that I can either download the packaged app for Mac OS X, or I can log into Postman for the web. Let's start with the packaged app. Depending on your internet connection, this can take a while. But once it's downloaded, let's unzip that file and open up Postman. Let's move this to our Applications folder so that future updates can be installed correctly. And here's the packaged app for Mac. I can get started right away by working locally in the scratch pad, but I want to save my work to my Postman account. So if you don't already have an account, you can create one now, but I already have one, so I'll sign in. And you can see I'm signing in from the browser. And I want to transfer that authentication over to the desktop app. And here I am, logged in, ready to go. Let's see how to use Postman from the web. So back to our browser, I've already signed in. And I can preserve my work. There's one more step if you wanna work in the web. So let's go over to one of my collections. I need to download one more thing to operate in the web. So at the bottom I can see there's a few different agents I can select from, but I'm being prompted to download the desktop agent. This is separate from the app that I just downloaded. The agent is going to help me work in the web and overcome cross-origin resource sharing or cores errors. So let's unzip this file. open it up, once again we'll move it over to the application folder, and once the agent is running, on Mac you'll see the, the icon up here in the top right. So you'll want to make sure you see that icon up there, and then in the bottom of your Postman web interface you can see that we're going to be using the desktop agent to overcome those cores errors. And now we can go ahead and send our requests.